Hello all, Seriously is here, and today we're going to do a very simple building tip. Uh, this is one little trick that I, uh, I don't know if I came up with this, but I did it on my other save and I thought, you know what, I'm going to show people how to do this. I think it looks pretty neat. We're going to work on that room that's right behind me over there. We still can't rotate that to be facing the door, but that's okay. This trick should work no matter how you have this positioned. And even if they do let us rotate the middle, we're putting the item we're going to use today right in the middle of the room anyway. So uh, even if they change the room later, it should still look the same. Hopefully. We'll find out if they ever let us rotate that thing to face the door. Please, please, please. Anyway, let's get to it. We are going to be using the... I believe it's called Planetary Globe. I do not remember where this came from. I am very sorry for people who do not have access to this part. I want to say it's a Quicksilver item, but I, I feel like it might be from an expedition. If you guys remember where this is from, let me know. I think it's an expedition, so unfortunately not everyone will have access to this if that's the case. Hopefully they let us rerun these expeditions. Another downside of this part is that even though I can bring up the color menu, you can see it doesn't actually change the color on any part of it. So it doesn't matter what color we pick because the base is going to be showing a little bit based on what we're doing here today. We're going to try to merge this with our portal so that we can still see the warp swirl in the middle but we also get this thing merged in there so that it looks really cool. You can see, I can get it pretty close. I can get it in front, but as soon as I get to the portal part, it lifts off the ground and it goes red state when I get to the middle. So the first thing we want to do is find the correct size. If you guys could get out of the room so I could see, that'd be fantastic. Thank you, thank you. So I'm gonna put this pretty much in line with the portal. It's still green state, it's still on the floor. I'm gonna hit the enlarge until I think, oh, that's a bit too big, I think. Until I think it's the right size to fit right in the middle. Let me back up a bit and get a better view. Might still be a teeny bit big. Let's try that and see what we get. Okay, so I'm gonna place one of these just so we don't lose that size. If we need to, we can copy that part. In fact, let's do that outside. <laughs> let's put that guy out here at the size we want it to be because we needed to do some deleting and I don't know what's gonna happen. So let's get off of here. Let's go to our build parts menu. We are gonna unfortunately need to delete that room. Yep. It's gone, which means the wall or window that we have in between that room will be gone. So, bye bye room. <sighs> okay, well I didn't take I didn't take that into account. Didn't get rid of my inventory. Um, copper, bronze. That stuff has got to be from there. Yeah, definitely. So is is this stuff. I don't know why that stuff never gets put away in its proper spots, but that's very annoying. Okay, that should be enough room to delete a room. And that's a good thing that we put that part, building part down at the size we want it, because we would have just lost it forever if we had to go to our inventory and get it again. Alright, let's try deleting our room one more time. It should be... We should be able to see through the room. There's another tip there. If you get close and make it blue, yeah, I can see the portal shape right there. So we're gonna delete that room. We're gonna grab one of these floors and we're gonna copy that and attach it right where the room was. Okay, now the middle part of that floor is right where that line ends, right there. That's the very middle part of that room or that floor and that's the key thing we need here for this. The other key thing we already did, we sized this part to be the exact right size we need. Now we are gonna try to line this up perfectly on that dot where the line ends. Put the dot where the line ends. Now the easiest way to do that is to get it close and then to zoom in into the part. Keep zooming in until you can see the floor. There's the, where the line ends. We're gonna face that. And you don't want it to be an X, you want it to be a dot. So we're not gonna be able to get it exactly in the middle because it won't dot. It's red stated right now. 
we can get it pretty close. Um, seems like we can only get it on that corner. There, that's close enough for me. We're going to click and place. It's right where we want it, at the size we want it, in the middle of that floor. Let's go into this mode and delete the floor. Now we're going to build our room back. It should be over here. Teleport chamber should have all the components. Now if we look through the room, we should be able to see which way it's facing by rotating it. Okay, that is the way I want it to face. You can see down here where my cursor is. That's the back part, that little thing there. So we'll click and place it, and we'll back. Uh, we've got one in the hallway. We can delete this one first. We'll back all the way out of build mode, and we'll take a peek at how that looks. Uh, I don't know why my light keeps turning on in my freighter, but it does. Let's see, how is that? I think that looks pretty good. It's very nicely centered left and right, and if I could get out of my own way here, let's try with camera mode or something like that. Let's go into camera mode. We won't see it spinning, unfortunately. Oh, I've got a better idea then. Let's get out of... Uh, oh, am I falling through my own freighter floor there? Let's get out of uh, third person mode. Nope, not gestures. There we go. Toggle camera view. Okay, let's see how it looks. See how centered we got this thing. If we had a bigger room, this would be easier to see. Or if it was facing the door. Yeah, that's very nice. I'm happy with the gap on the side matching the gap on the top and bottom pretty much. And the gap on the top and bottom matching each other. Now as you can see we've got that little gold piece sticking through just at the base there. That's exactly how it was on my other save. So this is the same size. I'm happy with that. On my other save, this room was colored. So you know what? We're going to delete that. We don't need that anymore. And we're going to color our room here uh, with the coloring glitch. So we want to go into decals, decals, <laughs> and put that onto the room, not onto the th item we just placed, onto the room. So let's get into build camera mode and make sure we're targeted on a wall of this room here. We want to go into coloring. We want to pick this color just to show you. Oh, we don't want to pick the color yet. We want to hit the C button first. Room goes dark. Now we pick a color. Now we back all the way out. Now that room gained those default colors. Now if we back out and look at our portal now, the base of that portal is the same color pretty much as the merged piece. I, however, don't want that color for my room. I want a gray color. So we're gonna color it with, I think we picked black and gray for these rooms. Yeah, we picked black and gray for that door and these rooms. But that wall is just gray. Yeah, look, there's a difference in the ceiling color. Okay, we picked the wrong room for this, uh, wrong color for this room too. All right, so let's put our door in. Let's put, uh, go to the build camera. Let's put some windows in. I think we had a window here and we lost it. I don't know how much glass we got. Let's find out, let's find out. Let's build everything back. We got everything what we want. Uh, it looks like we only lost one window. So you know what? I'm going to put it in here. <laughs> We're going to have to color that separately from the room and everything else. So let's go back to decals. Okay. Oh, uh, yeah, I know why. Uh, it's so the floor doesn't change color. If we change this, the middle part of the floor will become black, and I wanted that to stay gray. So we're gonna leave the room the same color. Uh, it's a little bit of a different gray, that's fine. That's fine. We'll make this wall match by changing the colors here. Uh, color pick, C, makes the wall. See the item that we're targeted on has changed to a dark state. We want this color here, and we'll back out. Uh, and we also wanna do that to the room we were just in, the portal room. One more time. Hit the 
color button, hit the toggle build edit button, pick the color you want, and back all the way out. All right, we're in first person mode, that's why I'm confused. There we go, that's how it looks. A Little bit of gold at the bottom. I can live with that so that we have a spinning orb around our portal. I think that looks pretty cool. Uh, we could also do the same technique we did for the engine core on the save uh, and have a, like a spinning beryllium sphere here, but then you wouldn't get to see the warp swirl, and I want to see that swirl. We gotta have that spinning hovering thing in the middle there. It's not connected to anything. It's pretty cool, right? <laughs> Just spinning around. I like it. I'm happy with it. And uh, that's how you do that. Very simple. No glitch building needed. Uh, even the color technique isn't really glitch building. I guess it is technically, but no timing, no wire glitch, no centering parts. We just did it all manually. We sized it manually. We placed it manually. And uh, we replaced the room and colored it. That's all we had to do. Simple as that. And there we go. That's how you get that in. <laughs> that's it for today, everybody. Until next time, have a good time.